Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival 2024. We are in our 30th year. I'm Tanya June Moore. This is my favorite thing, my favorite time of year. And once again, I want to say thank you to our title sponsor, Northern Arizona Healthcare, for always showing up for the Sedona International Film Festival, making us all look like stars, and of course, getting incredible filmmakers in the seat with us. Please introduce yourselves and the title of this movie, because I loved it. It's great. Hey, my name is Ben Dufroff. I am <coughs> the co-producer, co-writer, and star of Young. Yes, you are. Yeah, and my name is Amnon Carmi. I'm co-writer, co-producer with him, and director and editor as well. So please tell them what this is about, because I'll, bl I'll mess it up, but I love that it's around a card <laughs> game. It looks like it's something else. Please tell them what it's about. Yeah, so uh, to put it simply, it's about two Bronx high school teachers who try to raise money for their spring musical <laughs> by infiltrating an underground casino that's run by Hasidic Jews. Y'all, I laughed at the awkwardness that I felt, and I also just loved that it was promoting the arts and how important the arts are in school and what extent teachers will go to to get their needs met. Thank you. I mean, literally, your character goes into the underground and <laughs> dresses people up. It's incredible. Where did you get this idea? So there's actually something a little meta about this movie. I am actually a teacher in the New York City Department of Education. The students that appear in the movie were our students. So Bravo to your <laughs> students. <laughs> this movie is based great. off of you know our experiences trying to get performing arts programs launched yeah. off the ground in New York City and how hard it is. And you know right now our mayor is slashing budgets left and right and. It's just really tough, so... Speaking of, the woman who plays the, the hard-nosed... Sorry, just no money for you. Uh, <laughs> Was she somebody that you picked? Is this somebody that you know? Cause Kathy she Curtin. She's a phenomenal actor. Um, yes. She's, you've probably seen her before in yes. Netflix shows like Stranger Things and uh, Orange is That's the New Black. That's where I see. Okay. Yeah, she's, she was an amazing person to work with, and we really wanted to work with her. Yeah, she does authority well. Yeah. <laughs> she surely does. I love how you shrink every time you're in her, her space in the movie. Like, literally your whole body. I don't yeah. even know if you realize it, but yeah. me watching, I was really intrigued. I might have just been nervous to work with her, but it worked, <laughs> <laughs> it worked out it worked very well. well yeah. Yeah. So, how long did it take you to write the script? About, it was like five very intense weeks and then we did so many rewrites. About a year of rewrites. Yeah, yeah. I think we did 17 drafts of this, of this yeah. film. See, folks, if you're out there writing a script, did you just hear? <laughs> I get a lot of, oh, it should just be on paper and out. No, 17 rewrites, and then you make a feature film, and now you're in the Sedona International Film Festival, 30th year, which is a big deal. What Congratulations. Yeah. 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 How was your screening? Oh, my God. It was, we got chills. I mean, first of all, we sold out, which is r so exciting. Yes. We love... It, it was really validating to just look back at the audience and just see so many people buzzing. Um, every gasp, every tense moment, every laugh, we lived it. Yeah. Yes. We were, I mean, we felt really supportive here. Yeah. Good. I, that's the point. This is the Filmmakers Festival. We want you to come back again, again and again. We love our alumni. Yeah. Were there any questions that surprised you or questions that you really enjoyed last night that came from the audience? Yeah. <laughs> People were really curious about the process of making the film, which is a first for, you know, we've done a lot of Q&As. Um, people wanted to know all the crazy stories, everything that went wrong, which we're very happy to share. We have a lot of funny stories oh, to yeah. tell. Would you share one of those? What is the, what's the one that really stands out that makes you all go, I can't believe that one? <laughs> oh, boy. Which one? The Mendy yeah. singing? Yeah. So we, um, we hired a lot of klezmer bands mm. because that was a big theme when they that go into the... That was an incredible the, scene. Yeah, really fun. And one after another, every klezmer band just backed out or just left the set. They couldn't, you know, for conflicting reasons, whatever. So the guy who played Mendy, Adam B. Shapiro, who is a Broadway actor, he was a Yiddish fiddler in New York, he just improvised. That whole sequence when he's doing, he's riffing, he's the MC and, and singing in, in Yiddish, I mean, that was just on the spot. All of their questions in the audience were regarding things that we had to improvise, which is so cool. Yeah, they asked us our favorite lines. We couldn't take credit for any of them. I know. They were all the, <laughs> the best improvised moments. It's very Robin Williams-esque, right? Like, yeah. that's who, I mean, the, the ultimate in oh, improviser. Sure. So it's cool, though, you, especially as a director, that can just go with that flow. And, and as an actor who could just, like, step back and react and be in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations. So, okay, what's the website, the social channels, and where are you heading after this? Take it away. <sighs> yeah, so social channels are at Yanni Film. That's Y-A-N-I-V Film. <laughs> we got a lot of fun content on there. We like to change it up, make it silly, goofy, interesting, educational, so please check it out. Our film is Yanni, our uh, website is YanniFilm.com. Also a lot of fun content on there. 
Where are we going next? Well, we've got a whole slew of festivals coming yeah. up. We're, Cleveland International, for example, which is really we're Cleveland boys, so that's a that's a big thing congratulations. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's another Cleveland boy in the house. Oh, no, oh right. cool, cool, yeah. He's right behind we that guy right we're, there. We're gonna talk to oh. him after this. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Beachwood. Yeah. Oh, Tommies. Of course, of course. There's Best all kinds of shenanigans ever. today in the audience. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you all, I want to say thank you for bringing something light and fun and poignant. Thank you. To thank our you. audiences and giving us a wonderful break from a lot of the content that we get here. I wish you all the success in the world. I hope you come back next year and the year after and the year after that with some more of this kind of stuff. Uh, and please... Please keep us posted on where you are and what's going on with this film. And if you out there in the audience get a chance to see this, there's one more screening. Please stand in the rush line. I'm sure it's going to be sold out. It is worth your time and belly laughs to follow along with this one and learn a few things about what really goes on in our education system. <laughs> uh, and thank you once again. Thank you. Uh, Everyone stay very, very tuned in because I have a whole day, Carol and I, of filmmakers, and uh, our hashtag this year is SIF30, and I will see you in the next round of interviews. And we're out. Okay. So that's already live.